S13. A policeman, aged 30, married. I'll tell you what, my pay, after all stoppages, is seven pound. Seven quid. And that includes Sundays and nights. That's grossly inadequate, that is, for a married man. I've got kids to think of. One seven, and one on the way. You look at other jobs, a married man on a Sunday, he'd be getting overtime rates. Double time sometimes, time and a half at least. But the police, we just got the ordinary rates. Now can that be right, eh? I mean, even if I got promoted, and that'll take a few good years, do you know what the difference between a constable and a sergeant is? Take a guess. A quid. That's all it is. That's all the difference. What I don't understand is why some men do all the hard work and get very little in return. Others don't do a stroke, and they've got everything. It's a vicious circle in human relations, that's what it is. A man whose father was well-to-do and had a cushy job, he'd be well off. The others, who'd had bad luck and come into the world on the wrong side, they'll go on working their fingers to the bone. Yeah, well, maybe there is a few Bevins and Shimwells, people like that have worked themselves up to a high position. But I'll tell you, they've been pushed by something or someone in their lucky hour. I suppose you can call me a socialist, if you like. In a sense, I do think conditions should be more even there. Well, it stands to reason, doesn't it? The people that sign the papers do nothing else, they should get less money. While the lowly ones, well, they should get more. Don't ask me about hobbies. I have got time for an hobby. Looking for an ass, that's my hobby. If I get that, I'll need another hobby. One that brings me in some dough. Hi, it's Nick Wood Jones. Um, interesting this, I, I uh, didn't realise how little the police got paid really, comparatively. Uh, Seven pound a week was like an average pay for the late 1940s, but apparently they were getting less than they'd got during, the, during World War II because the cost of living had gone up. And uh, so when you see him, uh, you know, growing his vegetables on the allotment, it's certainly not a hobby, it's, it's growing them to eat.